Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this simple dot mandala in Affinity Designer. To create this mandala we are going to use the Move Duplicate panel as well as Symbols, which will make for us the job easier. If you are not familiar with the concept of symbols, a symbol is an intelligent object that can be placed repeatedly in a composition. Editing one of the symbols will automatically update all the other instances of that symbol. In this specific mandala, the use of symbols is beneficial as we create one dot, turn it into a symbol and duplicate it the number of times that we need. And then when we add the other objects that we need to the symbol, it will automatically duplicate the number of times that we need it. Alright, so I will show you how to do it. So first we go to File, New, and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we go to View Guides, and we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping and Snap to Guides is enabled. And then we're going to start drawing the mandala. So we take the Ellipse tool, we set the field to Black, and we set the Stroke to None. And then somewhere here, along the vertical axis, and while pressing Ctrl and Shift, we go ahead and we draw a dot of around 40 pixels. And then we select the dot, and then we're going to turn it into a symbol. So we go to Layer, Create Symbol. So that means that the dot is now turned into a symbol. So that means that after we duplicate it, every change that we make to one symbol will automatically affect also the other symbols. So in order to duplicate it, we go here to enable transform origin and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. So we are going to need 36 dots overall. So we check on duplicate and we set the numbers of copy to 35. And here the rotation angle, we set it to 10 degrees. So this creates the 36 dots that we need and we click on OK. Now we select the very last symbol in the transform panel and we uncollapse this and we select the dot within it. As we can see now, if we move one of the dots, that will automatically move all the other dots. So this is the advantage of working with symbols. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the dot. And we move the duplicated dot upwards, like this. As you can see, that also moves the other dots. And then we are going to scale it up while holding Ctrl and Shift. As you can see, that also scale up the other dots. And then we unselect and reselect the dot again, not to reapply the scaling up transformation. So we have to double click to reselect it. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it again. And then we move the duplicated dot upwards like this. And then to complete the mandala, we are going to need one more tier here and one more thin rounded rectangles down here. So we take the tier tool and then we we'll go ahead and we draw a tier and we center so we have to double click to select it and then we center it along the vertical axis like this and we flip it vertically. The change also affect the other tiers. So we are going to elongate it a bit. And lastly, we will create a thin rectangle here. So we take the rounded rectangle tool. And then we go ahead and we draw a thin rectangle like this. And then with the move tool, we center it on the vertical axis. So we double click to select the rounded rectangle here and we center it on the vertical axis. I will move it a bit downwards. And then I will increase a bit the roundness of the angles. And also I will elongate it a bit. And then lastly, I will add the gradient background to the composition. So to do this, we collapse the symbol and then we press escape to unselect the rounded rectangle. And we take the rectangle tool and then we draw a rectangle all over the composition. And then we select the rectangle in the layers panel and we move it to the back of the composition. And then we take the gradient tool, we set the type to radial
So I'll set the color in the middle to yellow. And the one on the side to a lighter shade of yellow. So I will select the node. Alright, so this completes the figure. So you can go ahead and experiment more with the use of symbols. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!